Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to test the ignition coils. Um, I pull these coils out of my bike while doing the uh, spark plug change. So while they're out, I decided to test them out before they go back in. And uh, it came out of a 2005 Kawasaki ZX-10R. Uh, the specs on these should be uh, primary resistance, should be between 1.2 and 1.6 ohm. And secondary resistance should be, be uh, between eight and a half and eleven and a half kilo ohm. If you don't know the specs on your ignition coil, uh, you can pull multiple ones and uh, test primary and secondary resistance on all of them. If uh, if they're all good, then the resistance should be the same on every one of them. If one of the uh, resistances is way off, then you know you found uh, the bad ignition coil. So, to test them, all I'm going to need is a, a multimeter tool. All you have to do is put it in the setting to measure resistance. This symbol right here. Then we're going to test the primary resistance. For that, we're going to connect, uh, we're going to test the resistance between these two connectors. So just take this one, like this, and the second one, right here. Okay, and it's showing uh, 1.5 ohm. So the primary resistance on this ignition coil is good. It's right there where it should be between 1.2 and 1.6 ohm. Okay, next we're going to measure secondary resistance. It's the resistance between where the spark plug goes and the connector pins. So let's go ahead and do that next. We're going to put one of these right in there and the other one right in here. Okay, and we have, well, and we have 9.42 kilo ohm, so that's right, we're uh, right between 8.5 and, and 11.5 and kilo ohm, so this is good, let's uh, measure it to, to the second uh, pin, and we have 9.43 kilo ohms. That passes. So, this ignition coil is in good shape. I'm uh, going to go ahead and test the, uh, the other ones. And uh, if they all pass, they'll be, uh, they'll be ready to go back in the bike. So, that was uh, pretty, pretty easy to do. Thanks for watching.